Let's take a look at a simple object. We're going to create a, an object. We're going to create some properties within it. Then we'll go ahead and access those properties as well as assign them. Let's go ahead and start with a student. We'll redo it here, student object. We use curly braces to enclose the properties. We then do first name. We will call this, uh, we will assign to that property the value of Peter. We will then add a last name. We will make it Parker. We will then create one last one, which will be email. And we will make it Peter, Peter at MIT.edu. So we've gone ahead and created an object. Let me go ahead and add my HTML so that we get some syntax highlighting. I'm then going to go ahead and copy this block into the script tags. And you can see there that I'm getting syntax highlighting already. So the next thing we want to do is we want to access one of these properties. So we'll do a console.log and within it, we will write student dot and we use the dot notation to access first name. And you can see there that I have some autocomplete, which the plugins that we installed are giving us. And so I can simply tab and have student dot first name. So let's go ahead and save this file and run it over here. Actually, let me make sure I'm selecting that that window so that it opens up. And then I'm going to go ahead and load it. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the console. And you can see there that we get Peter. If we reload the page, we get Peter again. Now, the next thing we'll want to do is we want to assign one of the properties. So let's say we want to change his last name. So we can see the property there already to Smith. And then we will write console.log and we will do student.lastName. And so let's go ahead and run that at the console. Let's go ahead and switch over to our browser window, reload the page, and we can see there that we now get Smith. The object has changed. Now, if we wanted to write at the console the entire thing, we can do another console.log. And then inside of it, we can use part of the language, which is called a library and a function within this library that's called json.stringify. And then inside of the function call inside the parentheses, we will write student. Now, when we go back to the page and we reload it, we see here that the object has been written to the console. First name Peter, last name Smith, email peter.edu. So this is your bare bones, basic object, simple object.